Hey guys, it's Jay from Skull Gaming Network. Welcome to another Retro Bowl video. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, this video will end when I successfully recover an onside kick. I think it's possible, but it's very rare to recover onside kicks. So the name of the game in this video, here's my team. It's a brand new year two team. We got a quarterback, Deontay Dowdle. We got a running back, Scotty Mooney. We got two wide receivers, a few defenders, and a kicker. I am going to play three-minute quarters, easy difficulty. I'm going to try to go into the fourth quarter of each game down by 21 or slightly more. So I'm going to have hopefully two or three opportunities to score and then attempt an onside kick and see if I can recover one. Of course, once I do recover one, the video is over. Let's get right into things with week one. We'll show the method. So we're going to throw some intentional interceptions. That one I just kind of airmailed. But there we go. Intercepted by the linebacker. And we're going to try to spot our opponents a lead of around 21 points. Now, I don't want to just throw interceptions so my quarterback's morale doesn't go too low. So we might take some sacks. Give them some really prime field position here and there as well. Also take some time off the clock. If you're trying to fly through the first three quarters of these games and get to the fourth quarter. So that is kind of a secondary goal of things. So there we go. Get sacked. Another turnover. And Atlanta is now up 14. We can run it with our running back too. We just don't want to get into the end zone. We want to keep our wide receivers fresh for the fourth quarter because that is when we're going to try to actually score with them. So I want them to be fresh so they can get all the way to the end zone in one play as much as possible. Give us as many onside kick attempts as we can get. So now we're down 17. We'll just run it, you know, two or three yards at a time and just end on an inch or two short on fourth down. It's kind of, you know, how it's going to go. I think after we spot them that 21-plus point lead, we're just going to cut to the fourth quarter, not make you guys watch too much of this. It's now 20 to nothing. Okay, okay. I see you, Retro Bowl. You know, we'll even complete a pass to our default tight end. Got to boost some egos, keep some players happy as much as possible. There we go, fourth and short. Oh no, what if we go for it and accidentally throw an incompletion and turn the ball over? Ah, shucks. Okay, we actually forced a punt on defense. Not what I'm going for, not what I'm going for. But again, we're going to do some mediocre, uninspiring offense. Nothing that's going to kill morale, but just, you know, subpar play. Oh, no, an incompletion and a turnover. Atlanta with the ball gets the field goal. So let's cut to the fourth quarter now. And here we go, starting quarter number four. And we are inside the one-yard line. Quick touchdown pass. Cuts it to 26-6. to six. We'll go for the extra point because we want to level up our kicker here and make it 26 to 7. And they're not going to let me onside kick it. Okay, maybe I have to have it closer. But we get the ball back, which is good. We have over two minutes left in the game. We hit Osai. Again, I haven't hit him all game to save this stamina. He might not quite get to the end zone, but he's going to get close. Okay, broken tackle. He's going to get the touchdown, 79 yards. So now that makes it 26-13. We'll kick the extra point again and make it 26-14. Going for the onside kick, and we don't get it. But they miss a field goal, so we get the ball back. We're going to take a deep shot, longest air pass, and Heath is going to get a touchdown we're going to go for two and actually try to miss it. That will hopefully make sense later on. So fail the two-point conversion. It's 26-20 going on sides again, and we don't get it again. Atlanta gets the field goal, so it's not 29-20. But if they had missed it, 
we would have only been down six. We can go for the onsides if we're tied, but not if we are losing. So that's what I was going for there. All righty, get out of bounds. And then let's get a quick touchdown here. No, we're short. Call a timeout. Call a timeout. Use our only audible and QB sneak it in with Dowdle. Now we're going to fail the two point conversion again here. Make it 29 26. Onsides kick. We fail again. So we're 0 for 3 through game one. Here we are in the fourth quarter of game number two against the Chicago Bears. We're only down 15 0 here. I'm trying a different approach, being within two scores, so I can cut it to within one score on the first touchdown, which I get right away. I'm gonna kick the extra point, and the kick is good. So it's 15-7. Oh, they didn't let me go for the onside's kick, though. So what we're gonna do here, we're going to intentionally kick a field goal and cut it to five. So I guess they must want it within seven because they didn't let me do it at eight points. Or maybe it's too early in the fourth quarter. I will have to keep playing around with that. But we get the field goal. Oh, okay, it must be too early into the fourth quarter. Because they didn't let me go for it, even though I got the score to be within five points. That is good to know. That is good to know. So let's get out of bounds. Then get... Two or three quick plays so we can get the field goal and onside kick it at least the one time. Go field goal to cut it to a five-point game, and it is good. Yes, go onsides, and we recover it. Let's go, baby.